aka monday they put this offer in it has my twitter timeline going crazy okay i was at work all day just got home got on here to see myself so yes i called this from the get-go they're gonna put an offer in the game that's gonna give us another ring of honor token okay it's 2800 points compared to the super bowl which was 50 dollars, which was 5800 points so i'm gonna talk to you guys and tell you guys if you guys should actually buy this okay there's some requirements to i think that yeah it's worth it for you and then i'm going to give you reasons why you really don't have to buy this and why i'm not going to buy this pack right here now we also have this stuff right here 2600 for 395 pluses absolutely awful awful offer okay we got this 91 plus ring of honor player for a dollar 50 right i'll open this it's a dollar 50 who cares will we get anything probably not probably going to get a 91 if we got something else cool but we get a 91 kind of as expected right that's what i expected okay so let's go into this now let's talk about aka real quick i want to talk to you guys about those um we got a bunch of content coming up this week as well this is going to be more of a uh info video you know what i mean we'll rip a couple packs too of course but i got i want to get this off my chest and talk to you guys because man i'm seeing a lot of stuff on the timeline getting tagged in a lot of stuff but let's go ahead and talk about the AKAs and who you guys should pick up out of this and if you guys should wait, whatnot. So we got um we got Prez. Good card, right? Good card. We got Troy P right now. Troy P is miles better than this card. So I would rather grab Troy P, who gets deep zone KO instead of deep end zone KO. But you can run him. You can even run this card in the slot with mid zone and pick artists if you wanted to, but his price compared to Troy P's price is gonna be outrageous. And then for the corners, we got a keep to leave. And we got Chris Harris. Now, Keep to Leave is going to get some zone discounts, but he's also going to get some man ones as well, which um isn't bad if you're more a hybrid player. I don't think that's really the style this year. Last year, there was a lot of hybrid. Um, in my slot last year, he would have went pretty good for me. But you could put him on the outside too with deep zone KO, medium route KO, stuff like that if you really wanted to do that, if you're mixing up a hybrid defense. Um, otherwise, the card that I like, they both get secure tackler. So that's another thing that I want to talk to you guys about. So um, Secure Tackler, this one is probably going to be a must-have, okay? He's got Secure Tackler. He gets flat zone and mid zone KO for zero AP, which is nice. You could put him at the slot. If you're running cover two, you could put him on the outside corner. He's going to be great for you. Plus, he got that Secure Tackler. Preferably, I would put him at the slot. But now, so Baked on Abilities, that is a thing that's coming now. We're going to see this a lot more often. Okay, we have the draft promo this week. We got the new season coming. There's going to be a lot of stuff headed our way. So that's one thing you got to remember. So baked on abilities is going to be a thing from here on out. So expect that. Okay, expect that. Now, these cards being 800,000 coins, I don't think they're worth it right now. I would wait. We're going to get an overall boost on Thursday. We got the new season on Wednesday. There's a lot to come. So just be patient. There's no, you don't need to jump and buy these guys right now. Now, let's talk about, okay, I'm going to show you guys my team because this is what I want to talk to you guys about. So, all right. Now, we get one free token for free, right? Now, you can see I got Tony G. Um, a lot of people are thinking about using Tony G, using the token on Tony G, buying the other one, okay? Let's put it that way, buying the other one and putting it on him to be able to get the momentum shift. So, where's it at? Right here. Momentum shift for 2AP. Cool, right? You're paying $20, $25 to get momentum shift. This ability is going to be coming in the game a lot more here soon. So if you're just patient, you really don't need it. Okay, Tony G is a great card. Gets jukebox for zero AP, red zone threat for zero AP. I have him on a plus 25 Falcons theme team. But there's so much more tight ends that are coming. We got golden tickets coming. We have um, the draft promo. There's going to be a lot of more stuff coming. Like these cards are going to fade out a lot quicker than you think. Some people are saying, hey, let's use it on Vic. I have Michael Vic too. You can see him right here. I'm going to sell my Vic because I don't like the lefty quarterback. I like to roll out right sometimes. I don't like to be restricted on what I'm doing. So I'm going to end up selling Vic. Bo Jackson tight end is just about better than Tony G. And you can get Vanguard on him. You can get all these X factors on him, the quarterback, and halfback bowl without spending any money. So you can use that one token on Eric Dickerson if you want. If you really like Vic, you can use it on him. The only way that I think that you should actually buy that offer is if you're running a Falcons theme team, if you have a theme team that has, let's say, two or two of those cards that are main. Say you're running a Falcons theme team. You're a strict Falcons fan. You're running a Falcons theme team. Then, yeah, you can throw it on Tony G. You can throw it on Devin Hester. You can throw it on Eric Dickerson and Michael Vick, whatever, right? But 
you guys got to expect this is the thing that's going to happen. I'm not saying don't ever buy them because we're going to get them with golden tickets. They did it last year. We'll probably get it. They're going to do the same system they did with Ring of Honors. We're going to get all these golden ticket cards. They're going to have baked on abilities. They're going to be really good. But we're only going to be able to upgrade a certain amount of them. Okay, maybe we get three. I think we got three tokens last year, and we had to buy them. We had to buy some of them. So it's going to be the same concept. That's just the way they're going, man. Like, if if you really don't like it, then don't buy it. But then just don't get none of the cards. Like, use the one that you get for free and move on. Like, it's really not worth it to just go all crazy about it. We know how EA is. We know what they're going to do. And they've been doing it. They did the same thing with the with the Super Bowl. Carried it over. Combine was really great because everything was on there. We just had to get the cards. Really like that. That's the style, obviously, we all want them to be. I think that they should have put that in the store with a point purchase and a coin purchase. Like, you could buy it with coins if you wanted to. You know what I mean? You had the option to do that. I think that they should do that just for the no money spent community, the people that just grind the game and don't want to spend money. But it's just the way EA is, man. They're a greedy company, and there's just really nothing we can do about it. I mean, it's the game we play. It is. It's the game we play. But the reason why I'm not going to be buying that is... The cards I have, I have a lot of them. I have LT. I don't think Devin Hester is better than Sun God. I don't think he's better than Darius Hayward Bay, Michael Irvin, or Randy Moss. So there's no reason for me to put it on him. Um, Eric Dickerson, I like him, but I can use Bo Jackson, who's the same thing. Actually, Bo Jackson is faster with the combine strat item if I'm not running a plus 25 theme team. But Bo Jackson plays really good for me. Eric Dickerson is nice because he gets those zero AP abilities. Human Joystick, Energizer, Jukebox. That's really nice. But Bo Jackson is really good. He gets evasive, so that's pretty much a jukebox. He gets the angry runs for one AP. It's nice. Bo Jackson quarterback gets Truss. Gets the same thing as Michael Vick. It's just a better stack. But you really don't need that stack. Like, if you're not a pro player, you're not playing in tournaments still, doing that stuff, you really don't need it. You don't. And these cards are not going to last very long. We all know that they bring cards in just like they did Troy P. Boom. Troy P. still best safety in the game, in my opinion. But they tried to bring Jamal Adams. They brought Rodney Harrison right after him. They're going to be bringing way more quarterbacks. We're going to have probably golden ticket Lamar. We could get a golden ticket Bo Jackson, and it's not far off. You think we're almost in May, okay? NCAA comes out in July, so there's just no reason to just stress over it, man. These cards ain't going to last long on people's teams, I don't believe. Eric Dickerson, maybe, but Vic's going to be replaced. We're going to get a 99 overall Caleb Williams over the weekend. Um, we're going to get all these other draft players as well. They could be easily, easily replaceable. Look at the tight ends. You got Tony G., Wait till Kyle Pitts gets another card. We got Shannon Sharp going to get it. Like, there's just so many other options out there. So it's just not nothing to stress about, man. Lawrence Taylor with it? No. Why would you put it on Lawrence Taylor? For the momentum shift, you can get it on Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald is a great, great card. You got other cards like Cameron Jordan, who gets Colossus on here for free. And you can get this card absolutely free if you just did all your AKA solos. So it's just not worth it, in my opinion, man. Like, if you want to buy it, buy it. Who cares, right? Don't argue about it. If you want to buy it, go get it. If you don't want to buy it, don't get it. But you really don't need to go buy it. So, so I, I, the main reason is I don't want you guys to feel like, oh, I need this to win. I don't need any X factors, any X factors to win the games. If I don't, like, I can take all of my X factors off, just have my abilities and be fine. I know that's not the case for some people. Yes, it makes the game more fun. It makes your team better because you can save more AP. But you can do the same thing. Like, Bo Jackson is better than Michael Vick. He's better. Vick's better AP wise. But all around, they got the same release. Bo Jackson can get Truss. Bo Jackson's a little bit more AP, but he can roll right. He, Vic can't, okay? Bo Jackson's still number one in my opinion. That's why I'm selling my Vic. But uh, Eric Dickerson, just use your token on Eric Dickerson. Seriously, use it on Eric Dickerson. Grab quarterback Bo Jackson, and you're good, man. We're going to have so many cards coming up that it's just not worth it in my opinion. It's just not worth it to stress over it and argue about it. EA is going to be EA, and there's just no thing. We're just not going to be able to change it. Now, 416 tomorrow, you get this right here as well. So they're supposed to be doing make rates on this if you don't have it. But at 7.30 p.m., you're going to open this up, and hopefully you get a golden ticket. If you guys do, make sure you guys tweet me, tweet your pulls at me. I want to see it. Hopefully you guys get something nice, man. That would be a huge W if you guys got a golden ticket out of there. But, yeah, that's, that's the main point of the video. Um, we'll do a couple of the AKA packs just to check them out. Um, I just feel like it's you don't need to buy that pack, so don't feel like you need it to win because you don't. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just be patient. 89, 91. Okay, I knew they were going to do us like that. These packs are so bad. We're only going to do like two of these. We're going to be smart and save for what's coming, man. We are going to Sugar Rush, 89, okay. 
In case they throw me a full one right here, I wouldn't be mad. Nope, 91. Okay, yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this helped you out or made things easier. If you guys buy it, buy it. Who cares, right? Buy it. Does not matter. But don't feel like you're at a disadvantage if you don't buy it. Okay? These cards ain't going to be on the team forever. I guarantee you that. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.